This map from 2019 was compiled using satellite and aerial imagery. Leonardo da Vinci made this one around 1502, while stuck on the ground. How? At the time, a map like this was the standard, a bird's eye or hillside view. Mythical creatures often popped up, not great for military operations. The perspective also only showed some buildings, blocking the view of other ones. These maps could be beautiful, but they lacked proper shape and scale, and highlighted Landmark's beauty at the expense of clarity. Leonardo needed to show Imola as an iconographic map, an idea that Vitruvius, a Roman engineer and the guy who inspired this, had described. In practice, it's a map where everything looks like you're directly above whatever you show. It gives you a clearer picture. Look at the fort. In Google Maps, the shadow effects change a bit, but the fort's perspective fundamentally stays the same. That's similar to a real view from far above, where distance reduces the effects of shifting perspective. But Leonardo didn't have a satellite to get up that far. His plan of Imola was a feat of symbolic imagination and he had to make it accurate. Based on sketches, previous work, and the design of his Imola map, we can guess at how Leonardo made it. He probably used a type of disc that could measure degrees and had a little pointer to mark the angles of streets in relation to a stable point, usually north. He probably used a compass to record the orientation of the town's surrounding walls. He did this at every turn which helped him accurately translate the walls onto paper. Note the circular shape here, overlaid on the map. To establish scale, Leonardo also needed to measure the distance between all of these angles. He probably paced this out by foot, or maybe using an odometer with wheels that turned gears that measured distance by dropping a ball into a bucket at set intervals. With the angles and distance together, he could create a plan hundreds of years before anyone could check if he got it right. This stunning map from 1551 by another Leonardo shows the potential Leonardo da Vinci's method had. All of these early iconographic maps have asterisks. This one was spotted with its own inaccuracies and artistic flourishes, a reflection of the scope of the project. In turn, Leonardo's Imola had quibbles too. He probably used parts of previous surveys and other artistic techniques. It also appears that he measured the town's walls precisely, but took more liberties with the angles in the town's interior. But even with artistic license, this remains a map of more than a fort and a town. It's a transition from a geography of myth and perception to one about information drawn plainly. It's a map of Imola, but in the early 1500s, it was a map of the future too. <laughs>